the Modern Matters podcast with Candace, Christina, and Brett. Okay, we're here and we're engaged. Okay, so... He's multiplying right now. I have a new category yeah. for you. Oh, this mint. gentleman falls into. Um, oh, he God. couldn't... Gonna be, is it going to be off topic? Not here? at all. Okay. Very, very toxic. He, in fact, Has injects it, himself with toxins purposely for multiple years. What? For longevity, for his health. Meet the man with a bizarre... Oh, my God. Okay. You this have to describe. Gonna, describe. Hi, my name is Steve Ludwin, this and Steve. I've been injecting snake venom for close to thirty years now. What? Yeah. You can't get much more toxic. That's why you. Immunization, which is the twitchy process eye. Of basically, injecting small amounts of venom and building up an immunity to it. He's um, going to outlive like us all, old, so I'm not my worried. Took me down to the Miami Serpentarium, and I, I met a famous herpetologist there called Bill Host. He was the first Westerner who started injecting himself with snake venom. He started in 1948. And he oh died God. a few years ago, just short of 101 years Whoa. old. Whoa! So I met him, and at age 10, I just thought it was incredible that you could become immune to snake venom. Is he but be why? a snake? Is he going to, like, Spider-Man turns into a spider? I mean, a spider <laughs> the oh, other way whoa, around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He oh. doesn't let them bite him. He takes, he extracts the He extracts the venom. The venom. And then he, He's so he puts it, it in, in a video. What syringe. I've been doing with the University of Copenhagen, with a group of scientists, they've realized that they can use my blood and my antibodies in order to create an, a new anti-venom that's derived from human blood and that's more cost effective. So it's it's a new project. It hasn't been done before and it's, it's very exciting. The, the really way this guy's holding his snake in this video I, is I, horrifying. I feel like somebody told him he to needs to do that though for the visual. For the effect. Because he's, he's uh, so he's, I've seen him before. He, Vice, years ago when vice was vice did a whole documentary on him like a 30 minute thing where he wasn't he didn't so he didn't have this longevity aspect to it yeah. it was just he was injecting himself with snake venom <laughs> for fun and he was for fun essentially yeah. he was getting burned he was getting all mm. the repercussions that you would imagine from injecting yourself with poisonous venom yeah. was happening to him and then uh, after that piece came out uh, he they reached out to him and and now they're studying him and so now it's it's kind of taken more of a positive turn but he uh, he's been around for a long time. I want to note that it says, "Do not try at home." Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's That's a, a good huge message. disclaimer. Yeah. Be safe.